there are 7.5 billion people inhabiting this world in 195 countries. Altogether, we speak 6,909 different languages. And it shouldn't come to you as a surprise that some cultures view menstruations differently. Yeah, just give me one second. Sam. Just wait, just wait. Sam. Alex, wait one second. Are I'm you joking? I'm just finishing this up. Are I'm you something? Alex, I'm you almost literally Alex, Alex, no, it. what? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? What's your problem? So I find the hair loss different now. Because I kind of like it, but I'm not sure like how you feel about the color. It's like white, but like kind of cream. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Yeah, well, that that? You. Thank you. That? Yeah, thank you. That's what you want. In this video, we will present to you the different myths and beliefs regarding menstruation cycles all around the globe. That being said, we will show you how ridiculous some of those myths could be. Now, one of these myths are that women in certain countries can actually cook food while on their periods. Now, this is absolutely insane. Sexists can't decide whether to keep them in the kitchen or get them out. That's crazy. A few of these countries that believe strongly in this are the UK and Japan. In UK, it's believed that women, if they cook dough, the dough won't rise properly. And in Japan, it's believed that women cooking with fish will make the fish sour. Isn't that stupid? It's crazy. So women in certain countries are told, hey, you can go and enjoy the world like the rest of the guys can because you have your period. Another one of these is that women can't go camping while on their periods. Why, you ask? Because bears will attack you. No, they won't. Bears won't attack you if you're going camping while on your period. These are just a few examples of other myths that are super, super, super exclusive only to females. It's absolutely horrendous to think that women are subjected to being pushed aside and excluded from certain activities only because of their bodily functions. Another one of these myths comes straight from Russia. In Russia, it's believed that women who are on their period can't touch plants. Because if they touch plants, then the plants die. Now in all seriousness, that was funny to talk about these myths and joke about them as though there's some first world problem. It's really not. All across the world, women are suffering every single day because of false beliefs and misconceptions that are leaving, leading these horrible traditions to go on. Now, there has been some awareness about this in the media of late, but not enough. Not enough is being done to get these issues resolved. For example, in Pakistan, it's believed that women who wash themselves while on their period will contract diseases such as cancer or HIV, which is absolutely disgusting and absolutely wrong. Doctors actually recommend against washing yourself while on your period in these countries because, it, because that's how deep this belief is ingrained in their culture. Now, 
not saying every doctor in Pakistan is like this and not saying that this is something that happens, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's still something that happens and is affecting hundreds and thousands of people all around their country. It's so harmful for these people who are living in these conditions every single day. It's so unhygienic and unhealthy to go a week without washing yourself and a week without being sanitary. Especially in Nepal. In Nepal there's something such known as the menstrual hut. Now when women are on their periods, they are taken and shoved into these huts and all crammed in a very unhygienic manner. For a week they are not allowed to move, they are not allowed to, they are fed very very little portions of food and very very little water. And all of this causes so many diseases, so many problems and so much trauma. So that's why we're making this video. We're making this video to illustrate that it's a problem that's, that occurs every single day and that these beliefs and traditions are still going on. Whether or not we have progression here, it's still affecting so many lives all across the world.